father, Louis F. Gay, fought in the war between the states in Company F, 4th Florida Regiment. My father historically met President Lincoln two separate times. My father lived somewhere near Lake Butler, Florida, where he enlisted in the Army, and he was sent to Cedar Key. He was guarding the people there and was captured and sent to the North to prison. While he was in Fort Delaware as a prisoner, he was exchanged and went back into service, where he was with sev in several battles, the Battle of Atlanta, the Battle of Chickamauga, and at that time, most all of them, his original company had been killed and there was only about 20, I think, left. My dad was shot. He was a private at the time, uh, just being indoctrinated in the Army a short time prior to Bull Run. I'm sure he was in the front lines. Uh, both sides were totally inexperienced as far as wartime battles and stuff, both the Confederacy and the Union. They had had no prior experience. My dad had gotten a, a terrific wound through the neck and shoulder with his mini ball, breathing profusely. He was with two other fellow soldiers who helped him with his wound. And according to reports I read later, noticing my dad was choking on his own blood, uh, tried to alleviate that by using the mouth, the mouth such suction, which was unheard of during that period. And uh, evidently it helped. He was captured at that battle and sent to uh, Libby Prison in Richmond, Virginia. He was held in captivity for about a year, a year and a half. And the thing that saved his life, I believe, was in, at that point in the war, there was prisoner exchange, which a year or two later was totally out. And uh, if he would have been kept in the service, with the casualties, 50 or 60,000 per battle, he would have never made it to the end. My dad was married before to Martha Rowe. They had seven children. Then she died. And my mother had been married before, and she had three boys and three girls. So she had been a widow for quite a while. And then my dad's youngest daughter, Sally Tyson, introduced them. They got married in 19 and 19. And when he was at the age of 82, I was born. My mother was 41. I said I was their last mistake. But he said he enjoyed me more than he did his others because when the others came along, he was so busy making a living to support them, he didn't have the time. My father met President Lincoln on the invitation of Senator Doolittle from uh, Racine, Wisconsin. And Lincoln had known partial uh, history of my father and had known in some detail his imprisonment. So during the discussion, uh, which evidently was very close and uh, very polite, uh, Lincoln had asked him if he would like to see some field reports sent in by some field commanders on the battlefield, and my father said yes. So Lincoln had given him the reports to read on the uh, thing. Lincoln had known my father had been severely wounded, so he'd asked him to take off his tunic so he could examine the uh, wounds in person. And my father said yes, and he'd taken off his tunic and uniform, and Lincoln had uh, examined the wounds in the shoulder and neck in detail and said they were very terrible. Lincoln was very concerned how the prisoners were being treated in Libby, and my father evidently told him they had been uh, quite fair treatment, no torture, no of physical abuse and this type of thing. I think the war experience 
change my dad, but he never held any animosity after the war towards the Confederates and the Southern people. My father passed away when I was nine years old. He had been in bed for 18 months, but the morning he uh, died, they woke me up about six o'clock and I went in and, and I get emotional. And he said, Iris, be a good girl. And he died. If he were here today, he would say that the men in the North were just like he was. He, they were away from home and families and fighting a war. And there was no animosity on his part at all, because that's what he said then. He said, you know, we were all away from home. <laughs>